What is going on traders? This is going to be a quick video about how to add anchored VWAP in Sierra chart. And by anchored VWAP, what I mean is there is a custom study built in to Sierra chart to where you can go onto your chart, point and click and add VWAP from any area on a chart that you want. For example, a large order transacted here in Globex. Can we go add anchor VWAP from that large order? Yes, we can. Here we go. We right click and we anchor the VWAP from that large order. And there you go. VWAP now anchors from that point in time. You're like, well, how the heck do you get this added? So apologies for this volume symbol needs rollover. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way too much. So anyway, the way that we add this to a chart is you go into your studies. For most people, if you right click on the chart, the studies uh, selection comes up by default. But if not, you just go into the top menu bar and click analysis and then studies. There's also the F6 shortcut. So let's go into studies. The screen will pop up here. Oh boy, let's see if we can get it to fit into the whole screen. That's pretty close. Okay. So go to this button here, add custom studies. All right, what you're gonna find is a big list of different things, right? And so one of them is user contributed studies, uh, DLL version 2386. If you expand this menu and you scroll down, ECI VWAP anchor version 1.5 so this one everybody should if you're on the latest version of CRT or even earlier versions everybody should have this custom study already pre-built into sierra chart right so you go in here you add it and then it'll pop up here it's in studies to graph go into the settings now you're like well how do i get it to look like yours so here's where you do it right in here and you can oh sorry make sure it's still on the screen here you can go ahead and copy all these settings. I'm not going to go through every single one. And then over here, so the ECI, the anchor for VWAP is line. And the top band is a line. Bottom band is a line. Top band two of VWAP standard deviation is a transparent fill to the top. And then this is transparent fill to the bottom. And for these, you can see, you can pause your screen to copy these settings if you want. You have these top band extensions, bottom band extensions. Again, transparent fill bottom. So if you want to invert this and make one say, okay, so this is blue. And for my chart, when I'm anchoring VWAP from the bottom of something, and price is moving up, I use blue. So I can right now, right now that this study's turned on, I can right click this here and it'll show up down here at the bottom. And so you keep track of it. It's anchor view app 18. You know that that one is the blue one. Okay, boom, it'll anchor the view app from down here. And it'll extend all the way out, but let's just anchor it right from here. There you go, right? So conversely, if you wanted to get one that was red, right you would have to go in here for like the downside right or you wanted multiple studies you wanted them to be different colors you just go in here you'd click duplicate and then for the study that popped up right you probably go into the settings for it and call it you know av app for anchor view app or something like that and then you call it a different color av app i don't know red right and then set all colors you'd go in here and change it to say, you know, instead of this blue, you change it to red. So let's just do it real fast. Duplicate. All right, so now we have a duplicate here. And change this to red. Set all colors. You got to hit click. Yes. Oh, all right. Now it changes it all. Boom. That's, that's nice. Okay. You see that? See how this sets it all to red? So now if you, let's say you want a green one because you want to have multiple view apps from various locations. You go in, click on this, and we can duplicate this one. All right, we've, it's now duplicated. We can call this one, uh, I don't know, green. We'll shorthand it here. 
Go in, change this to green. All right, go ahead and click apply. We know that this is what ID 20. So these, the blue one is 18, the red one is 19, and the green one is 20. So you have to remember that when you right click. Okay, so we'll go from here and the 20 will be this green one. Hey, and now we have this green one, right? You see how cool that is? Pretty stinking cool, I think, right? So if you wanna hide these, and there may be a better way to do this, but you can go in, click here, and just hide them, right? And that way they don't show up on your on your chart anymore. There may be a faster way to hide them, but I don't really know of a faster way off the top of my head. So anyway, that's it. Um, I think that's a nice, easy way to get Anchored View app onto your chart in Sierra chart with a essentially point and click um, functionality. And I think that's super useful for you uh, Sierra chart users that enjoy the Anchored View app. So anyway, this market's moving down. I got to trade. Good luck out there, traders. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share the video. Have a good one.